Snowshoe races got off to a quick start recently at the annual Cockadoodle Shoe Race at the new Land Trust Clubhouse in Saranac. It is a forerunner of a much bigger race coming up in just a few weeks. Welcome to Saranac Lake, the capital of the Adirondacks and the host village for the first time ever in the United States, the World Snowshoe Championships scheduled for February 25th. After the village won the right to host the championships, experts began laying out a challenging course that is attracting athletes from throughout the world. We wanted the course to, to be hard. I mean, we're in the, we're in the mountains. Uh, so, and, and typically in the U.S., the national courses are hard. They make them hard, and that's part, that's part of the sport. So it's, it's probably going to be uh, more elevation change. Than, than what the Europeans are used to. Their courses are usually uh, very fast, so uh, it's, it's gonna be a little bit harder. Uh, last year, they didn't have the snow in Italy, so they had to shorten the course, uh, and it kind of is more of a, a track meet. It's, we want it to be a snowshoe race. That means there will be a tough 1,300 foot gain from the start of the town hall, where the highway will be snow covered, to the top of Dewey Mountain. It is estimated that snowshoes have been around for about 4,000 years. The early ones were made like this one, made of wood and webbing in between, and it's about four and a half feet long. About 1990, the metal snowshoe came along. It's about a third of the size, much lighter, and easy to manipulate in the woods. Bob and Denise Dion are both longtime snowshoe racers and manufacture them in Bennington, Vermont. They use much of their knowledge they gain racing and transfer it into their growing product line. Most of our market though is more serious users. A lot of people basically think that, uh, you know, snowshoes, you go out and stay nice and warm and dry and it looks really fun to do, uh, but we treat it as a sport. A sports snowshoe must be strong and able to cross difficult terrain, road crossings, jumping over logs at swift speeds. The own snowshoes are all made in the United States of domestic products. The old, wider, longer snowshoes were awkward and could cause injury. When I started snowshoeing, we had four races in the Northeast and they were two weeks apart. We had bloody ankles, bruises, uh, it was painful. Now we do over 20 races in the season. No problem with the much smaller snowshoes. Several hundred racers will compete on 5 and 10K courses in Saranac Lake. The course will make demands on the athletes. You want to have uh, different types of snow. You want to have some of it groomed and wide, places where you can pass, and then some of it what they call single track, you know, just through the woods, where you're just kind of weaving through the woods. It might be hard to pass, so strategy comes into play. Mayor Rabidou said that they welcome the World Snowshoe Championships. The size of the event, this worldwide event, fit the size of Saranac Lake. It's a great match. You know, 300 to 400 competitors plus their entourages, we can handle that and we can handle it in good fashion. And you know, it's just a great opportunity for Saranac Lake, not only to market itself, but to offer its Adirondack hospitality. It's just a great match. But it's not all serious racing. A citizen's event called the Shoe doo is open to all levels and ages of snowshoeing. So, if you are serious or just want to have fun, join the Shoe doo on Saturday. A limited number of snowshoes will be available and on loan. But just make sure you're on hand to cheer the racers on. For Mountain Lake Journal, I'm Jack LeDuc in Saranac Lake.